Now, well, since the card is full on the other camera, I'll just have to use the little GoPro. So, this little area I'm going to try and fence in, pretty much from somewhere on the edge of that fence to the stairs over there. And I'll be going from this building somewhere to the edge of the stairs over there. I'll probably do straight lines, I'm guessing. But what I could do is actually go up and around that tree. Because I, I have 100 foot lengths and I'd rather not cut them if I don't need to. Because this is only temporary, so I'm hoping I'll be able to uh, reuse them later when I defense on the rest of the property so just gonna get this set up a little bit and start doing something don't know what yet not sure how i'm gonna do this so my biggest thing is the ends I need to find good sturdy ends so obviously that corner post will be good I don't, don't know if I really want to screw it to the to the building itself. Now I got two five fours here I can anchor to. Just go off of this around the tree and shoot back over to the deck somewhere. I guess I could do that. All right, this is what we got. Not a whole lot. Got through axle in the. Uh, Dog run. He's already running around in it. Huh. Wonder why they call it that. Anywho, so I just kind of laid these out. Those are eight foot spacing, using the tree as a post. I can't find anything solid on this deck over here to anchor to, so I'm just gonna end up driving one in right to the corner, I guess. Hopefully it'll be strong enough. What I might do on this one is actually turn it sideways so that the uh, that little shovel down there is harder to pull over. Yeah, why not? Uh, the only thing I'm probably not going to do is I'm not going to pull these tight. It's all just going to be hand tight. But like I said, it's it's all temporary. So I think I'm just going to go for it. I wish I had a straight edge. Actually, I got Axel's leash there. It's pretty long. I can use. And then, uh, Alright, so I got all the fencing up, it's been a couple hours now, looks pretty good from in here, but you can see, looking down the line, I didn't pull it tight, it's only hand tight, so of course it's going to be all wavy and whatnot, but like I say, it's only temporary, of course it'll probably be temporary for a good year, but it's all good. Kind of hard to pull it tight too and all these you can see how wavy that one is it's tight at the bottom but wavy on top something i can do is a uh, since that tree is leaning i can wedge a block or something between there to tighten it up but uh like i said the ground is so soft the poles just move around anyways but it's working pretty good i also ran i found some old wire fencing and back behind the barn there so i used that for to cover the bottom of the deck on both sides. I'll tell you what, they were just the right length. I wonder if that's what they were originally for, but Axel is, is hating it. So I got two more things. I gotta build a gate on that end of the deck and a gate way down on that end of the deck. And then I'll leave this end open for him to run off and from on and off the deck into the house. You can see Axel's hating it. He doesn't like his little confined space there. He's just whining away. I'm trying though. Uh, sun's gonna be going down pretty soon. It's probably 
actually 34 o'clock, I'm guessing. Oh, we got Dougie. What are you doing? Why are you standing on your legs? What's going on? You hating this, huh? You hate this. Oh. Oh, you hate this, huh? You just want to run. He's been doing okay and trampling down the grass in here pretty good already. But, well, once I get all this closed in, then I'm actually going to take this fence down, this side of the fence, so he has a little bit more. And you can also use the, the little doghouse if he really wants to. So, alright, 